Hi bears, it is so good to see you. I am seeing myself in the video here and say, wow, I got some crazy hair going on, but it's okay. You know what? It's me, you're you, we love each other for who we are, right? That's kind of like what we learned with Schubert in seeing the best in others. And I bet that is really hard, especially if you've been home all day with moms and dads and brothers and sisters and things just aren't going your way. It is so hard to see the best. But you know what? Maybe you can find a chance today to see the best in others. Okay, how about that? So maybe if someone is kind of extra cranky and just not talking like the way they usually talk, you know what? Maybe something happened and they're stressed out and if you see the best in them, maybe you can go on over and just say, hey, is there anything I can do to help you out? Okay, it's amazing what just a little bit of kindness can do. It can go a long way. All right, I know my beers and I know you are up to the challenge. All right, so with that said, this morning for our brain smart start slash big idea, we're going to do a Mr. Catman video to get our brain working and going. And then we are going to dive into the life cycle of a butterfly. And I'm super excited to show you what is going to happen. So, but let's get our brains going first with Mr. Catman. Dun, dun, dun. Where is he? There he is. All right, this one you could do sitting or standing, whatever works best for you. As we always say, we like options. Brain Aside with Mr. Catman. Swirly fingers. Meow. Mr. Catman is hysterically laughing. Perhaps he read the joke on the ball. <laughs> Okay, just in case you're wondering what the joke is, it says, what do cats eat for dessert? Mice cream cones. <laughs> oh, Mr. Catman. Put both of your index fingers pointing towards each other like Mr. Catman. Turn both index fingers clockwise. Turn both index fingers counterclockwise. Pause. Now, let's combine the two. Turn one index finger clockwise while you turn your other index finger counterclockwise. Slowly at first. You got it. Turn one finger clockwise while you turn the other one counterclockwise. <laughs> I'm feline like you've got this. Practice makes perfect for real. Thumbs up. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Mr. Catman, that was a doozy for today. I had a tough time doing that. Did you? Was it easy? Was it hard? I'd like to know. But anyways, all right, so like I said, this is going to be our final week on insects and the best thing to study about are butterflies. Now we're not at school where we can have our little butterfly habitat and watch them grow and stuff, but we still want to do our best to tell you all about it. All right, so I came across this when I was working on lessons. Let's pull it up just for you. That is not it. Yes, this is it right here. All right, so let's look at the butterfly life cycle. First of all, what do you think life cycle means? Life, you know, cycle, you know, like a bicycle? No. You know, the life cycle of a butterfly is talking about from its very beginnings, like an egg, all the way to it being an adult. All right, so let's dive on into this. Butterflies. Have you ever seen a butterfly? Yes. A butterfly is a colorful flying insect. 
Butterflies can be found all over the world. Today, we're going to learn about a type of butterfly called a painted lady. Watch the video to see what a painted lady butterfly looks like. And these are the kind that we do uh, usually bring to our classroom. So how cool is that? Don't you love it when our <laughs> videos do that? We're gonna give it just a few seconds for the video to catch up. <laughs> hey, it's just like we're in the classroom all the time, huh? With our internet stuff. All right, let's see if this works. Painted lady butterfly looks like beautiful, huh? All right. Next. All right, so butterfly senses. So we know that we have five senses. Do you think we can name them? We have seeing, smelling, tasting, hearing, feeling. Okay, let's look at the butterfly senses. An adult butterfly has special body parts that help her to sense the world around her. Click the words below to learn more. This is the antenna. A butterfly uses antenna, or antennae, I don't know, depends who you're talking to, to smell. We use our nose, they use their antenna, All right? Eyes. A butterfly has big eyes that help her see. Can you show me your eyes? I see them. Your big, beautiful eyes. Legs. A butterfly can taste the leaves she stands on using her legs. Wow, we talked about that not too long ago. Can you imagine if we tasted through our legs? Ooh, that would be kind of different. And lastly, wings. Wings aren't just for flying. Butterflies use their wings to hear. Amazing. I didn't know that, honestly. All right, so this next, you may or may not know about this. Butterflies have another special body part called a proboscis. Sorry, my phone. We'll see if I read that right. We'll find out in the video. A butterfly uses her proboscis to drink. Okay, so let's watch how a butterfly drinks. One of her most remarkable features is what we think of as a tongue. It's made of two long strands that zip together to form a tube. She usually carries it coiled, just below her head. Oh my goodness. It really is like we are back in the classroom where our videos stop all the time. Hmm, what should we do while we wait? Feels like home, doesn't it? All right, let's let's fire it up and see if we can get through this. To eat is to drink, so a butterfly simply uncoils her proboscis, and it pumps liquid nourishment up into her body. Being able to mop up many liquids has helped butterflies thrive all around the world. Wow. Nice. Okay, so let's visualize this. We are going to draw the, the proboscis. 
All right, so what color should we use? Were you paying attention to what it looked like? Was it white, tan, brown, yellow, orange? I think we should go with black. Now, was it big like this, see my circle? Or was it tiny like this, see my circle? I think it was more on the tiny side. It was long, but it was tiny. It was not, <laughs> let's see. It was not big and long like that. See, look, this is just as big as its eye. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna clear that out. I think we can agree it was tiny. Now, where did it come out of? Was it its eyes, its wings? Goodness, no, it came out of its mouth area. So my best guess would say somewhere around here. Okay, are you ready to draw it with me? We're gonna go like this. And he said it coils. A coil is like this. It goes around and around. Did we do it? The proboscis. What a cool word. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Here we go. This has been really cool. Okay, butterflies are amazing creatures. As butterflies become adults, they go through many changes. This transformation is known as, what do you think? Meta, metamorphosis. Butterflies have four stages four, in their life cycle. Each stage is very different, as you can see in this picture here. A butterfly starts, I'm gonna get that going first. Okay, a butterfly starts as a very small egg. Okay, how small do you think? Is this small? This, 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 this. Probably teeny tiny for us. A mother butterfly lays her eggs on leaves. Okay, so we're gonna watch this video to learn more. Okay, and while that's loading, let's look. Here's the egg. Now, I'm going to assume the egg is even much smaller than what we see here on the screen. Okay. A painted lady lays dozens of tiny eggs of a surprising blue. Each egg is attached to a leaf with a special glue that keeps it in place. She clusters them on leaves the babies will be able to eat when they hatch. the end of her motherly duties. Did you notice that it said she lays them with like a special glue? Why do you think that sticky glue is meant to be on the eggs? As the eggs attach to the leaf. Well, Perhaps so the eggs don't fall off the leaf, right? Wind can come through and shake the leaves around. She wouldn't want her eggs falling off because plus we also learned that she puts them on leaves so that when the babies do hatch from the eggs, they already have their source of food right there. Next after eggs is the larva stage move my picture out of the way. There we go. Okay. Butterfly larvae are called caterpillars. We know that word well. When they hatch, caterpillars are very, very small. So let's see what our video can show us about caterpillars. In just five days, a little caterpillar begins to break out of its shell. Wow. 
The eggs were only the size of a pinhead. The baby caterpillars are smaller than a grain of rice. Even the plant hairs sprouting from the leaf are giant obstacles for them. Almost nothing about this little caterpillar resembles its parents. With eight pairs of legs, a black spiky suit, and no wings at all, it's an entirely different animal. Did you catch that? The caterpillar egg is no bigger than the tip of a pin needle. Let's see here. I even have a pen right here. Look at the tip of that. That's still bigger than the egg. And it said that the caterpillar, the baby caterpillar, was the size of what? A grain of rice. That's so tiny. I didn't realize that, did you? Okay, so let's move on from the larva stage. We've gone from egg to larva. Here's caterpillars. Let me get that video warmed up. Caterpillars eat lots of leaves to help them grow. In the larva stage, a caterpillar goes through many transformations called instars. Did you know that? I bet some of our mommies and daddies did. Okay, so let's see about caterpillars. Its whole world is confined to its host plant. And so it eats. The more it eats, the faster it grows, and thus begins a life of one transformation after another. Little painted ladies will transition through five stages called instars, building a new body each time. Fascinating. Eating and growing. A caterpillar's most important job is to eat and grow. Are you thinking of the Eric Carl book, The Very Hungry Caterpillar? That's exactly what's happening. So what do caterpillars like to eat? Well, I think we've learned they like to eat cupcakes. No, that's only in the book. They like to eat leaves. So join me as we do our best to draw a picture of what a caterpillar likes to eat. And what color should the leaf be? Green, of course. Now I am no artist, but you know what? I'm going to do my best. And for that, it's all that matters. Okay, so let's see. Let's go like this. And we can go like that. Hey, now leaves also have veins in them. Let's give it some veins. That is for a whole another topic about leaves and plants and stuff. What do you think? I bet you could have done better, but that's okay. <laughs> I am confident in my art skills. <laughs> All right, so, but what we do need to know is that the caterpillar needs to eat and it needs to eat a lot so that it can grow and grow and grow. Pupa, what a fun word. When a caterpillar reaches her last instar, she finally stops eating and forms herself into a chrysalis, also known as a butterfly pupa. So let's look at our little map here. We have the egg, the larva, and now the pupa. Let's do this. A caterpillar's job is to store up enough energy to undergo one of the greatest rites of passage in all of nature. A painted lady has reached her last instar and finally stops eating. She spins a bit of silk, 
Fixes herself to a stem and hangs head down. Underneath her final caterpillar skin, she is once more creating a new body. But this time, it's stunningly different than the five bodies she has made before. When she finally wriggles free, she is no longer a caterpillar at all. She has become a chrysalis, a butterfly pupa. Her new shape is already a blueprint for the creature she will ultimately be. But now she's in the midst of a transformation. In the midst of a transformation. So inside the chrysalis. From the outside, it looks as if the caterpillar may be just resting, right? It's just hanging there, head down. But inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar is changing. Now, I know you watched a little bit of that yesterday, but it's so fascinating. It is worthy of going over again. Her outer skin dries and hardens. For most of the next two weeks, the dull casing of skin looks dormant. But inside... There is a lot going on inside that chrysalis. All right. Once the butterfly is ready, the chrysalis splits open. The cycle is complete and ready to start all over again. So we've gone from egg, larva, pupa to butterfly. Then, suddenly, she splits that skin open and is born again as a fully formed butterfly. She seems surprised by her unfamiliar body. How strange her new extended legs must feel. Her head now has large, complex eyes. Her jaws have been replaced with a long proboscis. Its two unruly strands must be zipped together, and she struggles to get them under control. And now she has the ultimate in new parts, wings. Slowly they unfurl. all she wrote. Did you like that? I most certainly did. I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did. All right, bears. Well, that's our big idea for today. Tomorrow, we're going to dive into more life cycles of the butterflies. Give us a chance together through me on the video to go through it and maybe uh, map it out ourselves. But with that said, we are done. I know it was a little bit longer, but it was just too awesome to share. How can you pass up the life cycle of a butterfly. Super cool. So 
with that said, as always, when it's time to go, we're going to wish each other well. Can you think of someone from our class in your head right now? Close your eyes and picture them, all right? Put them in your head, put them in your heart, and let's sing to that friend. Here we go. We wish you well, we wish you well, all through the day, we wish you well. Bye bears, I love you, and we'll see you at Zoom. Come to our Zoom meeting.